Good morning, guys. It is 10.53 a.m. Getting an early start to take a gander at this wall in front of me because every other shade spot in my plaza was stolen. Today, we're going to be starting off with some chicken salad. Chick action showed up as $10, going about 2.4 miles. Hopefully, the tablet is working today, and hopefully, it's not too busy so I can get this order quickly because it is a pretty big one. So, I just pulled up to the curbside pickup, and I totally forgot chicken salad chick doesn't open till 11 a.m. And right now it is 1056, so I got four minutes, but there is a sign on the door. If I'm picking up before normal hours, I could call that number, or should I just wait until they open at 11? Hopefully their Uber tablet was working. That's going to suck if their tablet was off. How are they even allowed? Wait a minute. How was, how was this girl? Because she had to have ordered well before 1050 when I got the order. How was she even able to order when the tablet... No, I think the order is going to be ready. Yeah, no, because there's no way she'd be able to order the store would show up as closed on the uh, on the app uh, for Emily H it's a f4 b5 thank you Yes, Zersky, first order of the day is completed, and I just got this chicken action in as well. $7.50 going 5.3 miles. I'm about two miles away from the plaza, so this should only realistically be about three miles for $7.50, and it is seven items, meaning that there could be some hidden tip potential on this, and it's for my girl Jasmine. Man, she got the sandwich, 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 fries, fries, fries. Man, she must be ordering for her coworkers, or if this is not going to a business, Maybe everybody in the household is hungry. I'm gonna go deliver their order. Hopefully there's some hidden tip action on it. And what a great start to the day, man, with a $10 order. The order actually was ready. So with Chicken Salad Chick, it must seem that they turned their tablet on before they actually open a store. And that's why people can order earlier than they open, which is great for the people, great for me. Let's go to Chick-fil-A. Yes, Sersky. So when I went to take off my GoPro, I noticed that it was not recording the last drop off. I did drop off the order. It was $7.50 what was shown, and that is what we got. Uh, but yeah, my GoPro just will not turn on right now, which is so dumb, bro. $400. I have to take out the battery because it literally will not turn on until I take out the battery and put it back in. $400 camera. This is why this is why when people say, "Oh, what camera do you use?" I I never want to respond because I don't want people to go out and buy this GoPro because it's a disaster most of the time, man. This time it's not even my fault. It just didn't turn on. All right, we got some bros action. $6.50 going 2.9 miles. I will go ahead and take this just because it's so hot outside and I don't feel like sitting here with the car off. Man, I need some AC action. Let's go ahead and see what we got here, Cheryl. A turkey sandwich and a, oh, two tasty turkey sandwiches. Okay, hopefully, watch them. Watch, watch. I'm going to go in there. They're going to be like, yeah, sorry, we're out of turkey. I'm so happy this was not a cheap customer. It was $6.50 what was shown. We ended up getting $7.50 for this order, which is great because freaking Einstein Big Ol' Bros took forever to get my order out. And for some reason, I don't know if this is just a problem with Einstein, but it seems like every time I go in there, it's the same excuse. Oh, sorry, we got all of these orders at once. Now, I do believe they did get multiple orders because there was another driver in there and there was one order already on the shelf. So yes, they probably are getting orders consistently. They're a restaurant. People are going to order from there. But are they really getting them all at once? Because if that's the case, then they need to do something to try to fix that. The pickup time was like 11.40 a.m. I don't think I got the order until like 10 minutes after until 11.50. And uh, because of that, I didn't drop the order off the same hour. It's actually 12.02. I dropped off the order at 12.01. So now this 7.50 goes over to the next hour, if you understand what I'm saying. But that's super annoying. They really need to try to do something about their system called DoorDash or try to figure out the tablet or something because they they shouldn't be getting multiple orders all coming in at the exact same time. I'm gonna go against what I normally like to do. This guy, if you can see the house marker right there, he lives on the road on a busy street. Uh, I don't really like delivering to those types of places, but I guess I don't really have a choice because it's 1221 already. It's $6.50 going three and a half miles, but it is also seven items. Doesn't really necessarily mean that this one's going to be a hidden tip. I think the last Chick-fil-A that we did was also seven items, and I think that one's 
stayed 650 or was it stayed 750? I'm not, I think it was, no, I actually think it stayed like 725 or something like that. So, I mean, all we can really do is hope that for one, the order is ready because I've wasted a lot of time just kind of sitting at the plaza. It slowed down a bunch, but I did find this nice little shade spot under this tree. I opened up all four windows and then I got, a, I got, I got a nice little breeze action going in. But let's go to Chick-fil-A and hopefully it's ready. Uh, for James? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Walker. Thank you. Texas Ranger? Yeah. His last name is T. Yo! Okay, so I just pulled out of the dude's driveway and oh my goodness, it was $6.50 what was shown. We ended up getting $12.50. That is one for the screenshots. I seriously, you just never know. That's what I'm saying with these Chick-fil-A orders. One time, you know, the, the time before, I can't see if anyone else is coming. Dang it! Get out of my way. Oh my goodness gracious, that's scary. <laughs> oh yes, sir! Okie dokie, don't do what I just did. Stay safe when you drive. But like I said, man, and the last order that we did, right, the previous one to this one, the Chick-fil-A, was seven items, just like this one, and there was no hidden tip action. And then this one, seven items, and then this one has a $6 hidden tip, bro. That's freaking amazing. That just changes the whole mood, man, because this hour has been kind of slow. It is 1240. We do got 20 minutes to try to make something happen, so let's see if we can do it. I don't usually do the calculations this early on, but it just feels like I haven't done that many orders today, so I wanted to make sure that I was still on a decent pace uh, after my calculations I've made forty dollars and eight cents so far and I also got a Miller's Ale House order here and uh, again it's just been so much trash look at this order and it seems to all be coming from Miller's four dollars twenty five cents going seven point two miles and it's six items it's just it just boggles my mind that people have enough money to order seven items worth of things at Miller's Ale House of all places. Like Miller's and Outback are probably like the two most expensive places in my market. And still, I mean, pro that's probably a no tip order. Even though it showed up as 425, they probably just increased the base pay a lot because of the mileage. But we're at $40 so far. So we're averaging about $20 an hour, which is pretty decent. Um, as long as this hour doesn't slow down again like yesterday, we should be okay. But the hotspot is not in Seminole right now. And I've only done one order on Uber Eats. Finally got myself a $6.50 1.9 mile tropical smoothie action going to the Buena Vista apartments. Oh, it's for Isvara again. I delivered to Isvara yesterday, so that's cool. But look, it's 1.15 p.m. right now. It seems like in my market, the lunch rush is ending as soon as it turns 1, whereas before, it would end when it was 2 p.m. So now, it's pretty much a struggle from 1 to 5 p.m. I, I guess I just have to hope that the big baller hours are going to be big baller hours like they were yesterday yesterday and uber picks up and starts sending me a couple things but for now let's go to tropical smoothie and get this order i was picking up for isvara thank you i got it for two Yep, I ain't gonna lie, I was expecting that. $6.50 what was shown, and that is what we got. She only ordered two smoothies. One of them was a small, one of them I think was a medium. Actually, I know, I think that one's a large. I have no idea. Every restaurant I go to, everyone has different sizes. I feel like every restaurant should be like Wendy's and Burger King with their sizes, man. Because, you know, them two, they give the biggest, uh, they give the biggest cups. Wow, look at that. When I was car shopping, this is the car that I wanted, man. A Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution. Those cars are so beautiful beautiful i think the evolution x i believe that's the one i wanted they don't make it anymore was a stick shift and back then i wasn't doing doordash i was working for winn dixie so i didn't really um i'm glad that i went with uh, automatic because man driving a manual while you're doing doordash all day having to kick in the clutch constantly and then when you're stuck in traffic no bueno man anyways other than that it is 1 30 p.m so i could go get lunch now or I could wait like I did yesterday. Oh man, that is beautiful. $10 going 3.3 mile Boston Market action. I'm actually right next to the Boston Market as well. And it's only one item, one meatloaf, home style meatloaf for four, yes sir. Mercy wants some meatloaf action, some meatloaf. Man, stop playing with me, what? Oh, 
Okay then, thanks for letting me know. Alrighty, well at least I got to use the bathroom, so that's cool. I'm definitely not going to wait 20 minutes for no meatloaf, man. The thing is, right, if I could, if I could keep the order while I was doing DoorDash orders and not get penalized for that, then I would keep the order and then I'd come back. Here's another $2 order, no thanks. But since I would get penalized because the customer would watch me drive around and all this other stuff because Uber lets them track your every single move from the moment you accept the order, it's just, uh, it's not worth losing the entire tip. It's not worth getting deactivated. So it is what it is. Meatloaf not ready for some reason. I mean, there's no customers here. I don't know how they can't get uh, meatloaf out and ready, but it is what it is. We'll go to the, you know what? I'm thinking maybe I'll just go. Yeah, it's just a bunch of garbage right now. I think what I'll do is just go to Wendy's now. I'm going to get myself a chicken Caesar salad because I'm cutting. I'm trying to lose weight over here, man. I'm actually doing a transformation style uh, video series on my second channel uh, for anyone interested in my weight loss journey and everything that I do and everything that I eat and how I work out uh, that will be available on my second channel starting next week so if you want to subscribe to that and then you and me together we can lose some weight we could cut together yes sir I just got done eating my salad I'm so sad I wanted to get the chicken Caesar salad from Wendy's but I didn't see it anywhere on the menu so I went with the Southwest avocado it was delicious man don't get me wrong but they did add the bacon wasn't a big fan of that I'd still ate it. I mean, I bought it. I mean, I might as well eat it, but I uh, wasn't really a big fan of that. Uh, I think I'm going to go to PDQ tomorrow, get myself a salad, or maybe I'm going to go back to grilled chicken sandwiches. Really depends. Uh, while I was eating, man, I got salad all over my phone. While I was eating, picked up a Miller's and a uh, Chipotle double order stack. Uh, the first pickup is Miller's. It said the pickup time was 2.01. That's why I spent a lot of time eating. But man, that salad was kind of good, man. Man, that salad was real good, man. They, they, Wendy's know what they doing, man. They got that grilled Asiago Ranch Club. I might get that tomorrow and just take off the bacon, you feel me? Because I'm cutting. Which one are you for? Uh, for Heather. Oh, thank you. Yes, sir. Let's go ahead and do some talking. So the first order, the Miller's Ale House, that one showed up as $6. And uh, what I got from that was $6.50. And then the second order was $5. Of course, we got $5. There's no hidden tips on that. It was $11 what was shown. We ended up getting $11.50, which isn't too bad. It is 2.18 p.m. right now, so a pretty good start to the hour. Again, just like yesterday, from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m., it was completely dead. I think I only did one order that entire hour. Even if I would have rushed eating my lunch, even if I would have skipped eating my lunch or ate it on the way, I still would not have finished the orders uh, by two. So, I mean, it is what it is now. We're gonna go ahead and uh, make our way back to the plaza. Hopefully it picks up again. Hopefully Uber starts sending me some big ballers and we can start making some real money. So I was scrolling through the DoorDash news articles of the day, looking for something that I could talk about for today's video topic. And uh, normally I talk about uh, Dasher problems or DoorDash merchant problems. I don't really ever get into uh, DoorDash customer problems and the customers are a big part of how we get paid. I mean they're most of the part of how we get paid at least for most of us if you're not in like California with a $15 base pay. Over here in Florida it's like a $2.50 base pay and sometimes it gets lower than that if you get stacked orders. Uh, and, and I was reading this and it kind of like it kind of put into perspective of what really a DoorDash customer goes through. So the title is it costs more for delivery and tips than the food. DoorDash customer shows $53 Buffalo Wild Wings order, sparking a debate and then in little it says, I can't justify delivery apps anymore and that's a big problem because we rely on the customer's tips. We really shouldn't. It really should be that DoorDash pays us more money. Uh, we should be getting at least a $5 base pay in my opinion, but when we start to lose customers, things turn out how they're turning out today. Very slow, not many orders, and you're not making a lot of money. So I'm going to go over the first paragraph, I'm not going to go over the entire article because the first paragraph pretty much goes over it all. So it says, the high service fees and cost of delivery apps like DoorDash, Uber Eats, and Postmates sometimes raise eyebrows for customers when they receive their order. TikToker Preston Walker shared a video showing an order he placed from Buffalo Wild Wings for two 10-piece wings and fries that came out to a whopping $53. Now that is insane. And when you really think about that, two so 20-piece wings and some fries 
price in their market came out to $53. I'm not sure where they are. I mean, this definitely is a little bit pricier than what, what it would be in my market. So I'm assuming this is probably New York or uh, Los Angeles, you know, California area, something like that. I mean, it's a TikToker that shared this video, so he's probably in California. But it really puts into perspective why a lot of customers don't tip. And I think I said this earlier on in the video with Chick-fil-A. Every time I want to order some Chick-fil-A for myself whenever I get lazy, I get turned off because for some reason my total comes out to like $30, $40, and that is before the tip, right? Then I have to go ahead and pay the tip, and then uh, that's going to add on another like five plus dollars because, you, you, you know, I want to be generous myself, but I also don't want to kill my own bank account at the same time. And that's why a lot of people, you'll see most orders, it's like a $3.50 tip, $4.50 tip, and uh, if I'm lucky in my market, it's a $5 tip if it's not Uber Eats. But the thing with Uber Eats is I barely get any orders on Uber Eats. I've only done one today. All the other orders that I've done today have come on DoorDash. Now, I totally understand and I totally agree with the people that say DoorDash and Uber Eats, food delivery platforms are a luxury service. They really are, and you're definitely paying for that luxury. But a lot of times, to be honest, like some of the drivers that I see even in my own market and the drivers that I talk about on my channel, you, 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 you know, th those people are not luxurious. The service, the service, right? The service itself, the ability to get food delivered to your front door, that is a luxury. Uh, but uh, it, it, it really comes with a price and that price is really killer and it turns off a lot of the customers. So let me know down below in the comments, what are your thoughts on how much the customers are actually paying for their orders? Setting aside our own base pay, setting aside the tip, like just, just for like an experiment, open up your DoorDash app if you have the DoorDash like a customer app, open it up and try to just order something that you would order regularly and I guarantee you it's going to be like two times or 2.5 five times the normal price it would be if you would just go get it and a lot of people nowadays especially with inflation they're not willing to shell out double the amount of money and that's why a lot of places I go to they're pretty packed and the drive throughs are always so busy especially at PDQ now I used to get a lot of PDQ orders but now the drive through is just packed nobody wants to order anymore door dashing has been pretty depressing not gonna lie seven dollars and 27 cents going 2.4 mile Papa John's action but really at, at at what cost, my bro, man? It's gonna start raining soon. It got really cloudy, which is cool. I mean, I was getting burnt up by the sun sitting here with no shade. But look at this, it's 2.55, this hour is done. By the time I get over to the Papa John's, I pick that order up, it's already gonna be 3 p.m. And then what? What did we even do this hour? I think it was just that one stack at the beginning of the hour. Everything other than that, I mean, it's just been garbage order after garbage order and not many orders, to be honest. And that's very worrying because, I mean, I know it's Thursday and, you know, there's not really much going on, but it's never been this slow. I actually even did the calculations. I think I'm at about $58 and I've been working for, what, about four hours now, which is just, that's 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 putrid that's really not worth it so uh if you've made it this far into the video please let me know down below in the comments how has your market been this week because if it's just mine that's slow then that's okay maybe that just means a lot of the customers in my area this week so far are not hungry or, or maybe they're choosing to eat at home or, or or get it themselves but if a lot of you out there are struggling as well then this is becoming a very big problem and uh, we really need to try to figure something out here. Oh my gosh, that's actually crazy. We got an add-on, an extra $9.50 for one extra mile Hong Kong. We needed that, man. It's not gonna help me out completely, but it'll help out so much, man. Another $9.50, that has the potential to have some hidden tip action. Hello, speaking up for Ryan Neal. Michael? Yeah, hi. Hello. Here we are. There you go. This is the first time I've used this service. How does uh, it work? How did they get paid? Uber Eats. Uh, no, so. How did Hong Kong get paid? Oh, they get paid when you just order the food. Okay. Yeah, they get that. Right. <laughs> cool. <laughs> you have a great day. Okay. There we go. All right. The receipt's right there, too. Thanks. All right. It's going to fly off. There you go. Have a great day.
That was arguably the weirdest two drop-offs I've had in a very long time. The first customer, I didn't even understand what he was asking me. I thought he was asking me, you know, how do you get paid? Like, how do I get paid? I was gonna tell him, oh, I get base pay and tip, but then he's like, no, no, not you. How do they get paid, as in the restaurant? And I'm like, how do I explain that to him? When you place the order, they get paid, bro. What you think, you give me cash, I take it back to them? He was an older dude, so maybe that is the way he, you know, maybe that's how he thought. But the customer that I just dropped off to was a meet at door order and uh, I go to open up the, the the screen door the glass door whatever and it makes this huge popping sound bro what is that so I still knock on the door because it's a meet at door no one comes to the door and then this dude comes around the corner and I'm like uh is this for you and he's like yeah I'm like okay so not only is it a very slow day but only the weird customers are ordering oh my gosh should I just go ahead and take this man eleven dollars and twenty five cents going six point seven miles they don't even know what the items are on it. Let's go ahead and see what the items are here. It's a $55 subtotal. Leave food on table by door. So I guess that's easy enough. What's the pickup time? The pickup time is 327. It's 328 right now. So that's actually pretty good. If this order can actually be ready right now, I wouldn't mind it because it is 1125. I'm thinking it might have some hidden tip action on it, hopefully. But I'm thinking if I can knock this order out within the next 30 minutes, which should be possible because that road I'm taking is a pretty fast road we should be in pretty good shape I mean it's still a trash day but we'll try to you know we'll try to make it as good as we can let's go see if the order is actually ready as long as it's day straight should be okay yo okay I see you that was eleven dollars and twenty five cents what was shown and we ended up getting fourteen dollars and fifty nine cents definitely one for the screenshots but freaking heck Outback Steakhouse man I just hate picking up with them on DoorDash when I got there it was still going to be another 10 minute wait just to get the order I think the pickup time was what like 327 or 337 something no I think it was like 327 I didn't get the order till like 339 and then the six and a half mile drive all the way way here so I am really really happy I got the $14 for it and to be honest like I'm gonna tell you the truth the reason I took this order is just because it's so slow if I I feel like if I wouldn't have taken this order I probably would be sitting at the plaza and I wouldn't have done any other order so far and I know it was a little bit far distance but the $14 does make up for it it is 3 58 p.m. right now I just don't know if it's going to pick up guys usually like if it was gonna pick up it would have by now but this is just uh you know when it's slow all day that means dinner is probably going to be slow as well so we'll try our best and uh just let me know in the comments man is it just my market or is it all of us dang it man i forgot to mention so i just got out of the chick-fil-a picked up a ten dollar and i think 50 cent yeah ten dollars and 50 cent chicken action it's going down to the beach five miles away again as you can see right there uh the last one was 14 dollars right i want to see what this one's gonna be man i'm thinking man they go if they go start sending me the big ballers I'm gonna be real happy and uh, even with I think this order should still put me over a hundred even if it's just ten dollars and fifty cents we should still be at a hundred dollars which is I guess okay Yes, two for two, baby. Let's go. Ten dollars and fifty cents. What was shown for that? Twelve dollars and seventy-five cents is what we got for that chicken action. That's two solid hidden tips, man. A fourteen dollar and now a twelve dollar one. That's awesome. And the reason I didn't bring the GoPro, well, for one, I forgot to mention that I had the order because I was at an intersection. Uh, and then the reason I didn't bring the GoPro inside was because I got myself a Coke Zero from the Chick Fil A. I just could not take it anymore man the heat is just not going away there are a few clouds in the sky but my gosh and man can you believe that this coke zero at chick-fil-a i can go to mcdonald's and get a diet coke for a dollar and seven cents but a coke zero from chick-fil-a a large one is two dollars and 56 cents man that's just that that's when i saw that price i was like man you know what forget about it but then i remembered it's hot dude and if you ain't got you, you got to stay hydrated when you're out here especially now in summer it it was cool to just be like all right you know what whatever i'm not right. i'm thirsty but i don't need it right now but now that we're in summer you really need to stay hydrated man because you start feeling lightheaded you start feeling dizzy when you're dehydrated and i know you know i should be drinking water but a co coke zero is basically the same thing man it's got zero calories yes sir ski i'm gonna go ahead and take this taco action it is six dollars and fifty cents going two miles but i did drink too much coke zero and now i must use the bathroom as well and then the thing with man taco bell they got some like like, Taco Bell just keeps changing the workers there, man. Ain't nobody trying to work at Taco Bell. 
For Miranda, yeah. Thank you. Two. Okay, so this kind of sucks. When I got to the Taco Bell, I tried giving it a chance, man, but someone was in there exploding, so I couldn't use the bathroom, but I really got to use it. Okay, that order was $6.50, but it was a quick $6.50. There was no hidden tip action, and it's 5.01 p.m. right now. What do we get here? Target, of course, yeah. Target, go to Target for $6.50 for seven miles. No. There we go, on the way back to the plaza. Now I got myself some tropical smoothie action. Another $6.50 going 2.2 miles. It ain't gonna be 2.2 miles, and I can use the bathroom. Let's go, Celeste. Thank you. Gotcha. It's for Celeste. People just love upsetting me, bro. $6.50 what was shown on that, and that is what we got, man. What's up with the cheap customers? That was three smoothies, man. You know, that, that, that costs a little bit of money. I got some Uber action. What's been going on with Uber today? Garbage after garbage, man. I've only done three orders on Uber Eats today. Oh, here we go. Got some Grubhub action. $12 for seven miles. Wow, come on now. All right, I got to make this one quick because I'm pulling into the drive-thru. Got an $8 PDQ action for like two miles. We're already here. Let's go. Thank here you, you are. No problem. You have a great day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. What a lovely babushka that was, man. And that is now our fourth order on Uber Eats. It seems like Uber Eats heard me talking some crap, and now they wanted to send me an order. Go ahead and send me another one. That'd be great. Yeah! How are they going to mess me over this time? $10, 2.9 miles. Is there any meatloaf in this, Mindy? You want some meatloaf? Okay, dokey. Well, that was a terrible service, but at least they had the order. I ain't never seen not one of those three people there. So it seems like everyone that worked at Boston Market quit too. Hey, Uber Eats, man. I like what you sending me. That last order was a big baller. Hoping for a nice hidden tip on that one. That one was a huge order. But why don't y'all go ahead and send me another one? Yes, sir. Got myself a $10.87, 5.7 mile tropical smoothie. I don't know. The mileage does seem a little bit far. 5.7 miles. Oh, man. Yeah, you know what? I just realized that. That is 5.7 miles. But it is $10, but it is Tropical Smoothie. Oh, man, I don't know what to do. It's 5.54. The day is pretty much ending anyway. So that would mean I would do short orders. I don't know what to do. I missed a freaking delivery there, too. Okay, what do I do here? Uh, I don't know. Hello. I was picking up for Megan. Okay, thank you. Let's go ahead and turn the car on, get some AC because it's still hot. As I was on the way to pick up the Tropical Smoothie, I got an add-on for Chick-fil-A, which doesn't usually happen. Uh, it was an extra, I think, $7 going for an extra 1.1 miles. So that $10 for five miles or almost six miles turns into about $17, maybe $18, who knows, uh, for about six, maybe seven miles, six and a half miles, something like that. So I decided to take this much better and it's gonna help us when we do the calculations towards the end of the day. Bro, what are you doing, man? Chick-fil-A is downright the absolute worst putrid restaurant. I can't believe, why is there a squirrel on the road, bro? Come on now, man. As if, as if things couldn't go any worse. Let's go and look at this. Yeah, my phone just unplugged. So, I freaking, I get to the Chick-fil-A, I don't see the order on the screen, and normally for me, let me go and pick up my phone, normally for me, I don't like to uh, swipe that I picked up an order uh, when I do an add-on, but the thing is, the order never popped up until I swiped that I, that I was picking up that order. They were never making it, so it took six minutes from the time that I swiped that I was there, for uh, me to get the order. And all during that time, the, the tropical smoothie, the one smoothie I have in the back is melting. And now the, the George, there goes my, there goes my phone again. Now, um, George is the, um, George is the, I'm just, I'm, I'm just, George, I'm so mad. I want to cuss, but I know if I cuss, the advertisers on this video will not be happy. George is the first drop-off. So the second drop-off that is six miles away, that one is the tropical smoothie. So um, yeah, this is Uber's fault for sending me this add-on, I'm mad.
Okay, well the first order is dropped off, which is cool. I know I'll get that tip for sure, but I don't know anymore if I'll get the tip for the tropical smoothie because the smoothie behind me isn't even a smoothie anymore. It's just a bunch of mush, and uh, that's just so unfortunate, man. I like I just can't with Chick Fil A, dude. Why did that happen? So now, at least now I know in the future that if you get an add-on for Uber Eats and it's Chick-fil-A, or I guess any restaurant for that matter, you have to swipe that you picked up the first order, which I, don't, I normally never do. I never do that, but I guess now I have to do that. Just, I was so mad because the thing turned red. It was green, then it turned yellow, then it turned red. So I don't know if she had it up on her screen, right? Because if it was showing up on my screen, surely she saw it on her screen. Here's a picture of it. Uh, that's the best quality I could get. I, I tried to be incognito with it. But man, that was just the most annoying thing ever. Chick-fil-A already is like one of my least favorite places to pick up from. And then that happens now. After having a bad day. Like, it's not like I was having a good day and this happens. After having a bad day, that's just the cherry on top. Oh, sorry, I don't know if like baby was sleeping. Oh, you're good, no, there no, you. he's here. There you go, you have a great day. Well, I made her laugh, that's a good sign. I guess I got some charisma left in me for the day. But man, I hate you, Chick-fil-A, man. I know I talked about that dude that uh, shot that employee. You know, I, I feel like, I feel like Chick-fil-A really instigates that. <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. Like, you should never shoot someone. That should never be your first opinion. But I can understand why people get mad at Chick-fil-A, bro. And I don't believe not a single person in my comment section that comments, oh, bro, Moosh, that sucks. My Chick-fil-A is great. Always has the orders ready. No, they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't. No, 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 no. And it takes them longer to make the drinks than it does the first Stop falling, bro. You want to fall? Go. Go, go, go. You fall every two seconds. <laughs> that Chick-fil-A, bro. That Chick-fil-A, bro. That Chick-fil-A. That Chick-fil-A, bro. Something with that Chick-fil-A. They need to hire actual, like, not all of them are bad, but, like, the woman that was making the things that was slanging the chicken into the bags, she wasn't slanging my chicken into the bag. Why was my chicken not being slanged into the bag? My dude ordered 30 chicken nuggets. They couldn't do it. <laughs> that's just, that's just, man, dude. Like, I understand now. I understand when it really gets to you after you are already having a bad day for you to just like, for you to just snap. Now, I ain't gonna do nothing crazy like the last guy did, you feel me? I'm a good guy. Man, can you hurry up? Why is this guy still going so slow? Oh my God, he's actually slowing down. Come on, man, the speed limit's 30. Why are we doing 25? It's 6.26 p.m. I don't have my phone anymore because I threw it over there. That's great. Uh, I'm gonna just chill out. I'm gonna just chill out. I'm gonna listen to some NBA young boy and just relax. You know what I'm about to do? I'm, I went to Dollar Tree the other day with my girlfriend. We like shopping around Dollar Tree seeing what uh, goodies they have. I was actually looking at the do-rags. I might, I'm, I'm thinking about it, you feel me? I'm about to wear a do-rag when I go into Chick-fil-A because I'm tired of them not taking me seriously, bro. If I wear a do-rag in there, oh, they gonna take me seriously. I'm gonna get some black Air Forces too. They gonna, they gonna take me serious from now on. Man, showed up as $9 going about three miles. The drop-off is relatively close to my house and it's 6.38 p.m. So this is going to be the last order of the day. Yay, can't believe it, man. What? I hate these people so much, bro. I'm telling y'all, bro. I'm telling y'all, this video, if y'all like this video and this video gets a lot of likes, I'm going to get a do-rag and I'm going to bring it into the Chick-fil-A, man. I want to let them know I mean business. Here we are. Thank One, two. You. Yeah, there we go. Have a great day. I actually found a nice little outro spot here in front of this fence in this empty parking lot that has a camera on the fence right there. That's actually pretty cool. It is 6.50 p.m. I'm done. I'm done picking up Chick-fil-A orders for the day, man. Can't be bothered anymore. That last customer was fine. Anyways, uh, we made $162.41, which is pretty good. I mean, that's great. It's not bad. You feel me? Like we were having a trash day. It seems like every day is a trash day, and I somehow will my way to get back to making something decent uh it's not 200 dollars, which does suck could be a little bit different because i am waiting on a couple hidden tips but i'm just happy the day's over man i can't take this no more as for solana that's the last hour uh for the day it's down 12 percent, which is cool because yesterday it was up like 15 percent uh if we go to the weekly chart you see yesterday we bought it that spike now we're gonna be buying it on a nice little dip 30 dollars and 32 cents let's go ahead and uh why do i still have 200 dollars left uh, how many more wait 
Today's Thursday. Oh, man, I got a whole bunch of adventures to go through this week. I can't be getting mad already. Uh, $50 is going to give us 1.6303 Solana, which is just fantastic. Um, my, my thing was, uh, if I could just buy 10.5 Solana per week, why? Stop giving me Shiba. The thing was, if I can just buy 10.5 uh, Solana per week, because I do buy every single day, uh, but I do throw in $100 on Tuesday for Monday and Tuesday, uh, if there is a dip, if it's dipping on Monday, then I'll buy Monday. But if I can buy 10.5 Solana per week, it would take me about 48, 49 days. Let's just call it 50 days uh, to, to be extra sure. It would take me about 50 days to get 500 Solana, which is about a month and a half. And that's insane because my goal was to only get 500. But I'm thinking now while we're in this bear market, I'm going to continue to stack Solana. I might even go for a thousand or 1500 or 2000 Solana. So that way I can make a quarter million on the next bull run yes sir i ain't gonna be doing no doordash i'm gonna go travel man that's going mad this is this is the labor this this is what i'm gonna tell people this is when i go to russia or ukraine or or, or poland or, or or somewhere you feel me where they got them babushkas man where they got them babushkas that make the oh or a srpski babushka or a croatian babushka yes or a bosnian babushka and i go over there and they make me cheese bread with some some yogurt on it oh man I'm gonna say babushka this is just like my mother used to make it I lost track of where I was going with this because I got a little excited oh yeah but as I was saying I'm a I'm stacking this Solana so that way I can make that dream become a reality man uh, and you should be working on your dreams as well and you see man like not every day is roses and butterflies and blueberries bro some days is garbage some days is literal poop bro but i ain't going out and shooting nobody man i'm good i'm <laughs> i got a future to live apparently that dude didn't so uh as as much as i'm mad i'm going home happy because uh I helped somebody today with this video. Uh, I made somebody's day. I made somebody smile, and I'm happy with that. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow with some more chicken action. Have a good night, guys.